So Hysteric Sign is a continuous spell card that allows you to search up to three Harpy cards with different names from your deck to your hand on the end phase where it was sent from the hand or field to the graveyard. Alright, so the card searches Harpy cards and the Harpy deck is quite irrelevant, so who cares, right? Well, even though we can say that the Harpy deck itself isn't really competitively viable, some of the Harpy cards definitely are. Believe it or not, Harpy's Feather Duster actually is a Harpy card. Wow, how shocking. Therefore, it's easily searchable by Hysteric Sign, something that we couldn't do a few years ago. And Duster is basically a one-card insta-win condition sometimes against trap decks, so if you can search it on your turn one, and you have it ready by turn three, you win the game. But wait, there's worse. Harpy's Feather Storm is another one of those cancerous cards with the word Harpy in its card name, what a coincidence, and it was abused by uh, Flunderies as well as even Sprite, actually. This card is basically a turn skipper against decks that rely on a lot of monster effects and uh, I want to say almost every single one of them kind of do. So in other words, if you can search these cards and use them kind of generically in pretty much any deck, wouldn't it be fair to say that Hysteric Sign kind of is also generic in a way? Well, the important thing to take into consideration here is how easy is it to access these cards and can it be done consistently or not? I mean, if you have to add a lot of Rick's to your deck in order to do that, I don't think it's worth it, but in this situation, it's really not that bad. You could simply play the one of Harpy's Feather Duster and hope to draw it, or Feather Storm a Trap Trick, or if that's not enough, you can also add Hysteric Sign if you really want both together. Now for the big question that you've probably asked yourself before even watching this video. How will drawing a Hysteric Sign really lead to Feather Storm doing something on the opponent's turn? Well, you see, in order to achieve the desired result, you're gonna have to fulfill a few steps first. First of all, find a way to send a Hysteric Sign from your hand or field to the graveyard. That's super easy to do. You can literally use Barricade Borg Blocker to discard a Hysteric Sign from your hand to the graveyard, and then recycle back any continuous or field spell from your grave to your hand on the end phase. And also, the Barricade Board Blocker doesn't have to stay on the field in order to get its recycling back effect on end phase, so you can use it as, I don't know, a Link Summon material or an XC Summon material for Gigantic Sprite, and that would work out. And the second thing that you have to do is end your turn with a Harpy Monster on your field. Now, the good news is, you don't really have to do a lot of sketchy things in order to do that. As a matter of fact, there's a way to actually end on a Harpy Monster on the field without playing a single Harpy Monster in your main deck. The Cyber Slash Harpy Lady was pretty much teched in in Sword Soul in order to use it whenever you drew Feather Storm because you could actually get it off of the draw from Desires or whatever, or even Moye, so that uh, people were actually abusing that package in the Sword Soul deck, and I want to say this concept can actually be recycled for future decks. So in other words, if you can Synchro Summon a level 8 monster generically and also get your hands on Feather Storm, you pretty much win the game on the spot. And again, cards are basically just getting more and more accessible with enablers like Gigantic Sprite or Raid Raptor Arsenal Falcon and do get to revive them back from your graveyard. Gigantic could summon Harpy Lady directly from your deck and it's a level 2 monster so really good in sprite in a way. And you can actually use Unexpected Die to summon it from your deck so if you want to use it as an extender you can do that as well. And Arsenal Falcon is basically a joke to summon, all you really need is just two level 7 monsters and uh, the Kashira monsters just happen to be level 7 and they're really good at making Xyz. And you already realize that but the cool thing about Hysteric Sign is that it fully sets you up for victory. You search Duster and Feather Storm on the end phase, let that sink in your head. Feather Storm says no to monsters and Duster says no to spells and traps. So your opponent's main plan of using monsters to beat you is completely nullified and your opponent's backup plan of using spells and traps to defend himself is also completely destroyed. In other words, if you resolve Hysteric Sign and manage to have it fully set up, you kind of just win the game on the spot. And of course, because of the fact that Feather Storm is a lingering effect, there's kind of nothing that your opponent can do about it once it resolves, and Red Reboot is banned, so uh, don't have to worry about that. Now, to be quite honest with you, I wouldn't actually play this in Sprite or Kashira, at least not right now, but I definitely would consider it in the near future, depending on how the format or the ban list changes things up. But like I said, it is something that I've had on my mind for a while and I really wanted to share it with you guys. But that's pretty much all I had to say for this video. Guys, let me know your thoughts about this package in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.